all right what is up guys it's your boy typer coming at you with a quick little video today just a quick announcement i have a giveaway for you guys a special one this one's pretty cool Arc has sent me four codes Arc games have sent me four codes to play gigantic rampage edition all you have to do to enter this giveaway is like comment subscribe or follow and just be up to date Come Tuesday, you guys will be getting selected, and I will be sending you DMs of your code. Uh, if you guys would like to see more of the game, it is a 5v5 MOBA hero shooter. If you would like to see more, stick around. I'm about to throw a video up on the screen from IGN for you guys. Without further ado, it's been your boy Typher, and I'm out. Doses. Gigantic Rampage Edition is coming soon, and we have a quick crash course to prepare you before you jump off the airship. Gigantic Rampage Edition is the premium and definitive release of the original 5v5 MOBA hero shooter, Gigantic, where you battle against and alongside massive guardians to control the battlefield. Rampage Edition brings back everything from the original Gigantic and introduces a ton of new content. In Gigantic, there are two main game modes to choose from, Rush and Clash. Before starting a Rush or Clash match, you can either toggle cross-play on or off to have the option to play with others across different platforms. In all game modes, the primary objective is to gain 100 power, attack the enemy Guardian, and completely deplete the Guardian's health to win the match. Before a match begins, you'll need to choose a hero, pick your build, and customize your hero. Once everyone readies up, the match will begin, and it's time to jump off the airship. Rush Mode is a brand new mode for Gigantic, added for Rampage Edition. It's action-packed and fast-paced, with matches being on average a short and sweet 10 minutes, or even faster if your team is elite. The primary objective for this mode, and other modes, is the same. Reach 100 power before the enemy team does, so that your team has the chance to attack and defeat the enemy Guardian to win the match. You can earn power by collecting power circles and killing enemies. Capturing orbs gives you 20 power. You can collect orbs at specific points on the map. Taking power isn't so easy though, as the enemy team will do whatever it takes to stop you. To stop someone from capturing, you can use one of your hero's abilities that have an interrupt effect, or you can, of course, take them down entirely. Killing enemies gives you 10 power, while taking down creatures gives you 20 power. To successfully defeat an enemy, make sure to use all the abilities in your arsenal effectively and wisely. Keeping track of your stamina and abilities is crucial and can determine if you'll survive the fight. It's better to retreat and recharge than to keep in the fight without resources. Once your team reaches 100 power, a rampage begins. The team with the rampage active is on the offensive, your objective is to deal damage to the enemy Guardian, but you'll need to time it just right to take advantage of the help from your own Guardian. For the team defending, you need to do whatever it takes to stop the enemy team and defend your Guardian. Wipe out the enemy team, and you'll end their rampage early. When a rampage is over, both teams continue their fight to take down the enemy Guardian. Once a Guardian is defeated, the opposing team wins the match. Clash is the original game mode from Gigantic that brings a deeply strategic and thrilling team-based experience for epic matches. There are a few key differences in this mode. Unlike Rush, a hero cannot be swapped mid-match in Clash, and your hero doesn't start at level 10. For leveling in Clash, you can choose to level up manually, like in the original Gigantic, or use the new auto-upgrade feature and choose from different builds. Summon and upgrade creatures. These creatures can help by collecting power points. Creatures can be summoned on power circles and have various abilities. Make sure to choose your creatures wisely and defend them. After five rampages or two guardian wounds, the map size will shrink to force the final fight. After matches, you'll make progress on various fortunes and earn rewards, including hero vouchers and crowns. Hero vouchers can be used to unlock new heroes, and crowns can be used to unlock various customization options. Fortune is a challenge-based progression system. There are three different types, general, weekly, and heroes. By completing fortunes, you can earn in-game currency and XP, so make sure to complete them. Anytime you need a refresher on the game's mechanics, jump into any of the guide tutorials, or try out new strategies in a custom match with bots. 
Now, it's time to take what you learned in game. We'll see you on the airship.